What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, a big box good. The Ralph Lauren men's signature fleece hoodie I picked up at Macy's for $125. Today, a first impressions, but first, a try on. Roughly three years ago, I owned a jacket like this. It was black with a red polo horse. Like I said, signature fleece hoodie. This jacket has actually been around for probably over a decade. It comes in roughly five different colorways. The same style, it's changed just slightly. Like I said, maybe a different color option or pattern or texture. This one is different from the traditional style or texture, I would say. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Like I said, Let's do a try on and then stick around at the end for the first impressions. Like I said, because I picked this up at Macy's, that makes it a big box good for $125. It's expensive. Yes, but who doesn't love Ralph Lauren and who wouldn't love a jacket like this? Let's go ahead and try it on. And like I said, stick around for the first impressions. Now on Macy's website or at the Ralph Lauren store inside of Macy's, there are two jackets. Both are $125, but this is the signature fleece hooded jacket. The difference between this jacket and the other jacket, not sure what the name of it is right off the top of my head, but the difference is the strings hanging from the hooded portion on the signature fleece hooded jacket are a flat sort of off white shoelace as where on the other jacket, which is also $125, it's a rounded string hanging from the hooded portion. So just keep that in mind, shopping for this jacket. If you want this particular or specific look, like right now, this is the signature fleece hooded jacket, and there is a difference. Now, one thing I remember from five years ago, I think it was that I last owned one of these jackets. It was a large black, uh, signature hooded fleece Ralph Lauren. Uh, it had the red polo horse on it. Awesome jacket. It had these exact same strings, uh, but that jacket fit larger than it did smaller, even though it felt small. For some odd reason, I had that jacket for probably three or four years and at that time did a lot of growing. So getting roughly two or three or four years out of a jacket such as this is possible. It fits bigger, I would say, even though it looks prim and proper, it looks thin and streamlined. It looks actually like a large, but I think you'll probably note from other videos, this is actually an extra large. It's a little bit bigger than I remember the last time wearing this jacket in a large, but Again, I think the point here is a jacket like this, it's very well made. For $125, it's expensive, but you can expect to enjoy this for probably three or four years, especially if you're an adult like myself who is done growing, well, at least up, right? This jacket should continue to wear for roughly the next couple of seasons at least. First intuition or first sort of way that I would wear this jacket is exactly how you see it now. Zipped up probably three quarters of the way, no less, no more. Zipped up all the way it's possible. And this was actually popular five years ago when I had my jacket, which was actually when I was finished with high school around that time, which was how I was still sort of dressing. Uh, we would wear this entirely zipped up. But over the years, uh, because this is a thick, heavy jacket, it's a lot warmer than you might expect from a jacket that looks as casual as it is. I think having it at least three quarter zip is the appropriate look. And it actually, I think, keeps the form of the jacket. I think you can tell. Fully unzipped, what you'll notice compared to three quarter zip is of course the way the jacket is worn. As you can tell, going from a prim and proper structured straight edge, angular look. It actually looks loose and uh, laid back. Even though it's hot, it's warm, it's not something you'd wear on a beach. Uh, maybe if you're sitting around uh, a fire 
or a fireplace, excuse me, it's Christmas dinner or Christmas morning, and you're wearing this jacket, of course, have it unzipped, but it fits loosely. As you can see, compared to having it zipped up, it almost hangs off the shoulders. And because I, I typically tend towards an extra large, I'm 6'1", 210 pounds, uh, buying the jacket true to size was the good idea because as you can see, it looks appropriate. Now, first thing you'll notice is the lining on the inside of the hood. As you can see with the jacket unzipped, it's a pretty cool look. Wearing the hood is fun. It actually protects your identity in some way, shape or form. You can actually wear earbuds and no one can tell. Things like that. Maybe if you've got a really bad haircut, you can cover it up with the hood. But one thing you'll notice, of course, because it's the only place in the jacket is this interesting sort of texture that actually makes this Ralph Lauren hoodie what it is compared to other hooded jackets. And this rough texture, I think, probably has some sort of function. Maybe it uh, traps in the heat to keep your head and neck warm. Either way, it's a little bit rougher than the fleece on the inside of the jacket, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But like I said, you will notice it. Maybe it's disappointing the fact that it's only inside the hood and not in the rest of the jacket. But just something I would point out, it is what gives this jacket its distinct look compared to others and also comfortable as well. But no, seriously, uh, one point I forget to mention earlier with the jacket zipped is actually how the jacket wears. So first and foremost, compared to having the jacket unzipped, you'll see that it retains its comfortability and its overall length and fit and finish. It goes from sort of laid back to uh, maybe out and about running errands, but looking stylish doing so. However you wear the jacket, whether it be zipped or unzipped, zipped, you'll actually notice that it almost sort of billows out actually at the top of where the pockets are stitched down. So not sure if that's because it's so trim and thin in the midsection. I think first and foremost, you'll notice actually that the tail of the jacket is elastic. It's actually cinched down around the waist. Not sure if that coupled with this really nice zipper, by the way, this is really nice hardware. Great quality, no snagging. Uh, and also because the jacket is so thin, it actually keeps the zipper running smoothly, but you'll actually just I think note uh, that it's robust and durable looking. It doesn't look cheap or third party in any way. This looks specifically designed by Ralph Lauren for this jacket. But like I said, not sure if it's a mixture of this really nice hardware, really premium and superb stitching these pockets and just the overall fit and finish of the jacket is immaculate. But also the waist cinched down uh, not sure if that contributes to the puffiness of this pocket. Like I said, wearing the jacket casually, you can kind of see the pocket uh, stick out a little bit. With that being said, just one minor issue or uh, quirk I've noticed, great jacket nonetheless. And last, but most importantly not least, is the color. When buying this jacket, there's roughly five different colors to choose from. These sort of distorted colors like you see here, it's gray, navy blue, white, or a solid color. So because I've actually owned a solid color, like I said, the black with the red polo horse, what are some of the differences maybe between this sort of heather distorted look? Well, first and foremost, the solid color variants are really just cotton. This is actually more of a cotton spandex. It's trimmed down to look the same and fit the same. But there are differences. First and foremost is the appearance. Like I said, this is like a distorted look compared to a solid color. And what actually I think contributes to this sort of distorted look is, or maybe on the fringe or on the edge, is the uh, stitching around the cuff by the wrist, which looks exposed, which looks turned inside out almost, giving it, like I said, it's sort of maybe rugged or rough or edgy appearance. Couple the inside out stitching look with this distorted look. Like I said, it's gray, navy, blue, and white. 
gives us an entirely different appearance. But the good news here is whether or not you go for a solid color or this slightly different textured, distorted look, both jackets fit exactly the same. One final feature that needs to be pointed out, as simple as it is, the front pockets, just so you can get a good idea how to wear this jacket, what this jacket wears like. Like I said, it's casual. I think what would have made this actually less casual is the jacket maybe being a black and gray and white mixture. Instead, it's navy and gray and white, but casual, and it's casual, I know this, rather than say functional because like I said, the pockets on the front meant for just tucking your hands, not meant for storing things. In the interim, yes, car keys, a wallet, an identification card, a cell phone, but in the long term, don't count on things to stay securely in these pockets. Now, one important feature to note is authentication. Buying a Ralph Lauren secondhand or maybe from a street vendor or maybe at a flea market, not a good idea. It's easy to make that mistake because Ralph Lauren isn't overly expensive. It's expensive, don't get me wrong. But $125, it's easy to see maybe a jacket like this being sold secondhand or at a flea market for maybe $60 or $70. Of course, Ralph Lauren, easy to replicate. All it takes is to uh, copy the logo, stamp it on the left chest, and voila, you've got yourself a knockoff Ralph Lauren. But a rule of thumb before the advent of the smartphone was of course that if you bought Ralph Lauren secondhand to judge if it was authentic or not, people would look at the tag on whatever item it was, as long as it was stitched down, polo, Ralph Lauren, that likely meant it was authentic. Yellow, writing, dark, navy, blue. But because of the advent of the smartphone, what Ralph Lauren did was actually attach on the back of the label a barcode. So if you scan the barcode with your camera on your smartphone, it actually takes you to a web page dedicated to the jacket because like I said, buying secondhand Ralph Lauren is an easy mistake to make. So on the website, of course, you can see similar items, uh, but most importantly, you can see your jacket, the color, and you get a check mark authenticating it's real. The only area inside the jacket, not fleece, is in the hood. So at Macy's, taking this jacket off the shelf, it'll be zipped up. You'll notice the hood inside is this sort of heat generating texture. Like I said, it's almost like a long john, something that you would wear maybe underneath your jeans as a pair of undergarments to keep you warm in the winter time. It's that same sort of heat generating material that keeps you warm, that uh, is soft to the touch, but also kind of coarse and rigid and generates friction, I would say. Not inside the jacket, just inside the hoodie for the neck and for the head. Like I said, the rest of the jacket and the sleeves at the back, the torso, the midsection, it's all 100% fleece. The front pockets don't have zippers, so probably not the best for storing important items like car keys, ID cards, debit cards. For your hands, maybe to put your cell phone momentarily or your keys momentarily. As you can see, the pockets are big enough but not deep enough, I would say, to keep things in them securely. As you can see, pulling the iPhone 12 Pro out of the pocket, no finagling, it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, therefore not the most secure, but convenient and comfortable, I would say. Not a good idea, like I said in the first impressions, to store things in them long term. Now, what makes the Ralph Lauren Signature Fleece Jacket a Ralph Lauren Signature Fleece Jacket is, of course, the elastic waistband at the bottom of the jacket, which, as you can see, is about an inch and a quarter wide. Not just a small strip of elastic that wraps the waist as a sort of stopgap. It's meant to hold the jacket in place, keep it form-fitting, keep wind and gusts out from underneath and keeping your midsection cold. This 
not necessarily designed as a windbreaker, definitely an under jacket to a maybe hard shell jacket, something that you would wear casually underneath, but still does a fine job of keeping you warm. Nonetheless, as you can see, what just overall differentiates this jacket costing $125 versus maybe $50 or $60 is, like I said, this elastic waistband at the bottom of the jacket, which as you can see is about an inch and a quarter wide. You can see it starts from the outward facing or inside out stitching, which like I said, gives the jacket its rugged look, spanning all the way down to the bottom of the zipper. Again, demarcated by my two fingers here. It's probably an inch and a quarter wide. Nothing at the back gives this away. As to the fact it's a Ralph Lauren, not even a tag. Uh, all of the branding, as you can see, is at the front of the jacket. Anyways, guys, that has been a try on, a first impressions, and overview of the Ralph Lauren men's signature fleece hooded jacket I picked up at Macy's. Because I picked this up at Macy's, that makes it a big box good. For $125, it's expensive compared to other jackets, but should last you season after season after season. As we saw up close, it has these robust features, really nice, durable, sturdy hardware and great software. Like I said, these strings, really nice quality. The elastic waistband at the bottom of the jacket, great quality. It's robust, it's wide, it does its job of keeping wind out from underneath the jacket and also keeping the jacket tucked around the waist so that it looks stylish and classy. Great color options. Like I said, the main difference between this sort of distorted look of gray, white, and navy blue versus the solid option is of course the uh, exposed stitching or maybe the inside out stitching which gives it its rough and rugged look. And last but most importantly not least authenticating the jacket. If the jacket or whatever Ralph Lauren product you buy fails to have a barcode on the tag behind the neck, it's probably a fake. So. Looking at a jacket as expensive as this, maybe you're looking at it used on eBay, maybe you're at a flea market. Like I said, it's easy to make the mistake of thinking that a jacket that only costs $125 can be discounted to $70. But then again, like I said, if you're at a flea market, if you're buying something off of eBay or a street vendor on the side of the road, check that it has the QR code and scan it and authenticate it. Anyways, with that being said, my name is John. Because I picked this up at Macy's, that does make it a big box good. For $125, this should last season after season. Thank you so much again for tuning into this unboxing and first impressions and try on and overview. At 6'2", 210 pounds, buy a jacket like this true to size. This is an extra large. You are watching Shopping the Internet now. Hit that like button, subscribe. Share this video with friends and family and comment below your questions and concerns or how you like to wear this jacket and what you think of this jacket if you own one. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube. I will see you in the next video.